Mr. President, ministers, ladies and gentlemen. Until this incident took place and showed the, I mean, displayed to us their ugly, very ugly role and uh, their challenge, real, real challenge to, to, to authority. And so we are facing now this situation. Luckily enough, they are not great in number. They are small in number. Yes, they have arms, but uh, I think the authorities will be able to handle the situation with, and will, we hope to reach a solution. Rahan, I'll call on you and, and wait for the microphone. I think for those who, <laughs> for those who use power, I'm talking about the Libyan attitude. I think those who use power or challenge the government, who use power, the government has to protect itself, has to deal with them by using power against them. This is a natural right. And his daughter nodded no, so he didn't even have a chance to answer. I think uh, we, we are totally different. The majority of Libyans are totally different from them. They, we, we long for building a civil s state. They don't believe in that. We long to build a democratic state. They don't believe in that. We long to give freedoms to all Libyans. They don't believe in that. We long to, to empower women. They don't accept that. So there is total difference between them and the majority of Libyans. In your neighborhood about the problem of extremism